I've gotten some flack with some of my testing and using such a high voltage panel through an MPPT charge controller and charging a 12 volt battery, doing efficiency tests, blah, blah, blah. And I found something interesting out today because I've been, I've been wanting to do this with a 24 volt battery instead of a 12 volt battery, see how it works, um, see if, if, if they're right, right? And it'd be okay, I can learn stuff. But I found something out interesting today, so follow along. So what we've got here is a 24 volt battery. I finally got one together so that I can test with it. And that is connected to my Promister charge controller. And I have a single 24 volt solar panel. Let's go check a look at those specs real quick. So this is a 37 volt open circuit panel, 230 watts. And you'll see it is 30.3 volts maximum power. And we are getting a whopping 85 watts. And that's a little optimistic. This charge controller is optimistic. And let's not trust the voltages on here. Let's go with our fluke and see what they show. So 30.5, 31.4, yeah, that's about right. The battery is at 26.5, so definitely not full. You can scroll through here as well and see that we're in bulk mode, not in absorbing or in float. But now I wanna show you what this does when I connect the 12 volt battery. So disconnect our solar here. And we will move our clamp to 12 volt battery here. Now this is a uh, 12 volt 230 amp hour this is a 24 volt 230 amp hour made out of the exact same lithium iron phosphate cells both running through their you know respective bmss so now we're connected to this battery it's at 13.4 volts so it is not full connect our solar back in yes i should be using a switch instead of connecting unconnecting under load fire me but guess what we're getting 186 watts and you see that our panel voltage is well under 30 volts certainly under the voltage that our 24 volt battery was at now why is this the case because we're using a 24 volt panel on a 24 volt battery that should work perfect right that's the point of a pwm charge controller is that you max you you match your vmp of that which is 30 volts to your battery, which is gonna be a max voltage of like 29.4, 29.6, forget exactly what it was. I think our problem right now is that it's hot. That panel is not under, not under standard test conditions of 25 degrees Celsius. It's probably sitting, I mean, it's about 85, 90 degrees out here. So I'm sure the panel is up at 120. And so the voltage is going to be lower because it's hot. So the VMP is going to be lower. As we can see here, we're getting 187 watts instead of under 100 watts connected to our 24 volt battery. So, okay, let's, let's, let's do a verification on this. So if we connect a higher voltage panel, will these be more consistent? Let's connect up a different panel. So what we've got is these wires here, Woo! running out to our 435 watt panel. Get my specs here. And this is somewhere around 86 volts open circuit, which don't yell at me. I realize that that's a little high for the Palmister on a 12 volt battery, but that panel's hot. I'm not gonna hit 86 volt open circuit. It's not gonna kill anything. It would not be recommended to run an 86 volt panel uh, long-term because in cold weather, it would hit over 80 volts, which is the max on a 12 volt battery. And that would not be good. But for today, for this test, I just need a panel that's higher voltage. So we're going to use this 86 volt. This will be a, an extreme test. Hold on. Go to there. Let me disconnect this one again because I connected it back to where it was instead of to the new panel. Get that back in. Okay. Come back around. We are still connected to our 12 volts. So we're going to get our baseline on our 12. So let's pull that panel down to 62 volts. 63 volts. So getting 340 watts here. And let's make sure that we're not in flow. Yep, we're still in uh, still in 4.0, so still in bulk charging mode. So now let's move this over to the 24 volt battery and see what it does there. So it's actually getting a little bit more, which would make sense because the voltage of this panel matches, or is a little bit closer to the voltage of the battery compared to the 12 volt. So that's okay, that's to be expected. Now I think this is what people were complaining about, right? I was running a 49 volt open circuit panel on a 12 volt battery, and that seems like a large difference. And you can see here, we might be losing, what, about 20 watts or so, because it's such a high voltage going to um, a 12 volt battery. But anyway, we can see here that the wattage is comparable. So you tell me, did I miss something there? Uh, because what I'm seeing 
is that running a 24 volt panel through an MPPT charge controller to charge a 24 volt battery would be a bad idea. I think that I would wanna run at least a 72 cell to an MPPT charge controller for a 24 volt battery. That's, that's what I'm seeing, that's the data that I'm seeing. What do you guys think?